Hello, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing well. My name is Sayada Fatma Rizvi and I bring for you people the very informative and lovely physics videos. Ten -ten and today we are going to study about production of charges. It is one of the subtopic of electrostatics. We have studied about the electrostatic in detail in the previous videos that electrostatic basically is the uh, study of the charges at rest. So let's start with the production of the charges and please do listen to your favorite YouTube and do spread my videos worldwide. Okay, let's start. So first of all, we would study electrostatics. What is electrostatics? Electrostatics is that branch of physics in which we deal with the charges at rest. It is the study of the charges at rest. That how the charges work if they are still in the rest position. How they perform any sort of work if they are still in the rest condition. So electrostatic is basically the study of the charges at rest condition and they are working, the working performed by the charges at the rest condition. So we will study the daily life examples of the charges that how, uh, how the charges are present in on anything. So daily life examples are tables chairs vehicles things that are used in daily life are neutral they contain equal number of positive and negative charges so basically the charges are present on the universe everything like uh, you can see uh, the daily life examples like tables like chairs like vehicles like things so uh, these all the things are neutral Neutral means that these things contain equal number of positive and negative charges. So how uh, let's study about how the production of the charges take place. Static electricity or an electrostatic charge is a deficiency or excess of electrons or protons which occur on underground or insulating surface. Okay, so basically um, the excess of electrons or protons which occur on the underground or uh, insulating surfaces this is known as the static electricity right a deficiency or excess of electrons or protons which occur on the underground or insulating surface uh, the process then the process is known as the electrostatic charge or static electricity it is produced by triboelectric charges, charges that are generated by friction. Okay, how these the static charges are produced? Obviously, when the two things are rubbed together with each other, like when the two things are rubbed together with each other, the force of friction is produced. The two surfaces are rubbed together with each other, force of friction is produced. As a result, the static charges are produced. So basically, we have studied that the static electricity or the electrostatic charges are the deficiency or the excess of electrons which occur on the underground and insulating surfaces. Alright, so we have seen the force of friction. As a result of the force of the friction, the static electricity or the electrostatic, electrostatic charges are produced. So we take this such uh, simple example, the movement of the paper through a copier or a printer. As the uh, simple paper is passed through a copier or a printer, the charges get stick to the paper. So let's study about the experiment related to the production of the charges. For example, a charged comb will attract some objects like grain of, uh, uh, of sugar when brought closer to them. Alright, when we rub uh, the comb through some surface or we rub the comb through our hair, then it attracts the 
other things other small things as well here we have uh, seen that uh, here we have taken the small grains of the sugar so a charged comb will attract the small objects such as the grain of sugar when brought closer to them the grains of the sugar come in contact with the comb then in a little while some of the grain will uh, gain the same charge as the comb and will rapid, uh, rapidly repelled okay so uh, as a result um, the uh, grains some of the grains will take the opposite charge for example uh, let's suppose that the comb has attained the negative charge and when the grains of the sugar are brought closer to the comb so uh, that the grains of the sugar uh, get attracted towards the uh, comb because they have the opposite charge but after a while um, most of the grains of the sugar will take the negative charge just because of the uh, comb because the comb has a negative charge so grains of the sugar some of the grains of the sugar also attain the negative charge so as a result the comb and the grains of sugar create the force of repulsion all right the comb then in a little while uh, then in a little while sorry then in a little while some of the grains will attain the same charge as the comb as the comb and will rapidly repelled so there uh, will be develop a force of repulsion between the comb and the grain of the sugars so it means that the light charges repel each other and the opposite charges attract each other Yes, as we have seen in this experiment of the grain, uh, grain of sugar and the comb, that some of the grain of the sugar will attain the positive charge and uh, will be attracted towards the comb. Why? Because the opposite charges attract each other. And uh, after some time, some of the grain of the sugar will attain the negative charge just because of the comb and the force of the repulsion is created between the comb and the grain of the sugars. Similarly, we consider an other experiment. We take a comb, okay? and the small pieces of the paper rub the comb with the hair and bring the comb closer to the pieces of the paper the comb will attract the piece of the paper okay for example if we take the comb and the piece pieces of paper we rub the comb with the hair and bring the comb closer towards the pieces of the paper the comb will attract the pieces of the paper okay why the comb will attract the pieces of paper just because the opposite charges uh, attract each other the comb will attain for example a negative charge and the pieces of paper will attain the positive charge the force of attraction is created between the comb and the pieces of paper similarly we consider another experiment bring the plastic rod and the silk cloth okay rub the uh, silk cloth with the plastic rod the plastic rod will get charged and will attain either the positive charge or a negative charge take another uh, plastic rod and rub it with the same silk cloth what will happen and bring that rod close to the first rod the two rods will repel each other why why the two rods will repel each other because we have taken the uh, plastic rod and the silk cloth we have rubbed the silk uh, cloth with the plastic rod plastic rod at first was neutral but as uh, we rub the uh, silk cloth with the plastic rod due to the force of friction the plastic rod will attain either the positive charge or either the negative charge similarly we take another plastic rod which is neutral we rub the same silk cloth with the uh, plastic rod so the both the plastic rod will attain the same charges as a result the two roll uh, the two rods will repel each other Similarly, we perform another experiment in which we take the charged same plastic rod and we take another neutral plastic rod. Okay, 
we take the same charred plastic rod one of the charged plastic rod and we take another neutral plastic rod okay we rub the neutral plastic rod with the piece of fur the plastic roll rod will attain the opposite charge bring that plastic rod close to the first rod just because of the opposite charge the rods attract each other okay what we have done we have replaced the silk cloth with the uh, fur cloth as we rub the neutral plastic rod with the piece of the fur the plastic rod will attain the opposite charge bring the uh, plastic rod close to the first rod just because of these opposite charges that two rods contain the rods will attract each other so what we conclude from these four experiment the like charges repel each other unlike charges attract each other due to the force of friction production of the charges will happen like charges like positive positive negative negative charges they these are the same charges so these same charges repel each other unlike charges attract each other like uh, unlike charges means positive negative charges attract each other due to the force of friction uh, production of charges happens like friction due to the friction like when the two things are rubbed with each other force of friction will be will occur and the production of static charges happens force of uh, attraction and force of repulsion is compulsory to occur so these are the results that we concluded from the experiment thanks a lot uh, these this is all study about the electrostatic charges and uh, we have performed the experiment related to it i hope that you people enjoy the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel and spread my videos worldwide i will bring the new informative videos for you people till then thank you so much and allah hafiz